UK government has awarded three firms a total of £2 million, $2.7 million, in contracts to develop autonomous unmanned air and ground systems to help troops survey river crossing sites during battle. The contract was awarded during the second phase of the Map the Gap competition, organized by the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, under the Ministry of Defence. The competition sought the input of academia and industry to help reduce loss of life when surveying multiple crossing sites at the forward edge of the battle. Replacing manned reconnaissance with a remote beyond line of sight system will not only reduce the risk to life, but also offer the ability to survey multiple crossing sites in a far more timely and efficient manner, a mod statement said. Rush on Tuesday unveiled its new Sukhoi stealth fighter jet designed to compete with the US F-35 and capable of striking six targets simultaneously. Dubbed the Checkmate, the plane was first shown to reportedly please President Vladimir Putin before the launch at a biennial air show outside Moscow. Reports first surfaced that the jet was being manufactured in May last year. According to the launch video it was developed in record time. Few details had previously emerged about the plane that was developed by defense and technology giant Rostec and the state-controlled United Aircraft Corporation. With a price tag of between $25-30 million, 21-25 to million euros, it will be able to carry drones and launch them during flights. The Hellenic Air Force, half of Greece on Wednesday, received its first Rafale fighter jet of the 18 it is ordered from French aircraft manufacturer, Dassault Aviation. A handover ceremony at the company's flight test center in southern France was attended by Greek Defense Minister Nikos Panagiotopoulos and several high-ranking military officials. The first delivery came six months after Greece signed a $2.9 million deal with France to purchase six new and 12 used Rafale warplanes. Another five used, fourth-generation Rafales are expected to be delivered to Greece this year. Dassault said the first six aircraft will be utilized to further train half-pilots and technicians. Tensions between Greece and Turkey have long been high in the Mediterranean Sea as both nations engage in rounds of exploratory talks over their clashing interests in the maritime territory. The New Zealand Defence Force, NZDF, is continuing with the steady renewal of its main operational land vehicle fleets, notifying industry of its intention to replace the Army's unprotected Pinsgauer light operational vehicles with new utility platforms. In an advance notice of intended future procurement released on 12 July, the New Zealand Ministry of Defence, MOD, disclosed it is seeking to acquire both medium and light utility vehicles under Phase 1 of its Protected Mobility Capability Project, PMCP. Phase 1 running from 2018 to 2024 involves replacing the capabilities of the 321 Strong 8 variant Pinsgauer fleet and operational on IMOGs. Phase 2, running from 2025-2026, will upgrade or replace the 83-strong New Zealand Light Armoured Vehicle, NZLAV, capability. HMAS Ballarat has added the force of its 5-inch gun to a Blue Water Combat event as part of Exercise Talisman Sabre. The Anzac-class frigate, using the call sign Goldrush, fired a number of high-explosive rounds about seven nautical miles off the coast of Townshend Island with U.S. Navy destroyer USS Rafael Peralta. Ballarat's sister ship, HMAS Parramatta, and Japanese destroyer JS Makinami, also joined the assault on the island within Shoalwater Bay. The opening barrage on Townshend Island was followed by air attack by A-1Z Viper, A-1Y Venom and Tiger helicopters and F-A-18AB Hornets, and a barrage of nine U.S. and Australian M777 howitzers. This activity shows Australian frigates and American and Japanese destroyers can draw from the same tactical playbook to take action against multiple targets seamlessly.